My name is Miranda Gonzalez, and I was diagnosed at the age of 40 with stage 3 hormone positive breast cancer. I knew that I wasn't going to have any more children, so when my doctor suggested I had my ovaries removed, I was all for it because I wanted to do anything possible to reduce the amount of estrogen in my body. Within 24 to 48 hours of being in the hospital and have, after having my surgery, I experienced my first hot flash. I had this intense heat come up from my thighs into my abdomen, shoulders, my face turned red and it was hot and the intense heat went up to the top of my head. Once I was released from the hospital and returned home, the hot flashes became more frequent and more intense. My surroundings changes. I had to have uh, the windows open all the time, a fan going and the air conditioning. So, you know, it was extremely cool in my house, you know, to combat some of those hot flashes. Also, I did experience, you know, I had some vaginal dryness and a lower sex drive. One thing I wish I would have known about menopause is the ability to preserve my eggs. If I wasn't able to use them myself, it just would have been nice to have the option and have that conversation. Um, I haven't really struggled with a lot of hormonal issues that I know that are related to menopause, but just having the conversation about hormone replacement and just more open dialogue about what I could expect after radiation would have been really helpful. Care team sat me down and talked to me about what to expect once I was in menopause. I was told that once my ovaries were removed that I would be in immediate menopause. The side effects to look out for would be night sweats, hot flashes, changes in my mood, trouble sleeping, and even some women go through depression and anxiety. We talked about some of the more private things such as intimacy and sex. I wish my doctor would have mentioned more of the things to expect after surgery uh, because at the time I was really scared. I was having issues that I didn't know where they came from or how to deal with them. Had I been more prepared on what to expect, I could have probably had healthcare professionals to reach out to already on hand, um, maybe exercises or tips or any kind of information from other breast cancer survivors on what they had been through. The advice I would give women who have to go through surgical menopause, especially when you're under 40, is to really make sure that you keep your mental and emotional health first. Um, try and get some counseling or set up those people around you to support you because there is going to be grieving and it's going to be so unexpected and it's going to be sometimes so palpable, but it might happen a few weeks, a few months after you heal piece of advice if you're undergoing cancer treatment and you're going to be forced into early menopause is to just learn about what it is overall and write down questions for your doctor so you can be as best prepared as possible and definitely explore the conversation of fertility options as well as hormone replacement.